Hey, you folks, Quillian here. Can I win that older set? Uh, I don't want to discuss it. That was interesting. Thanks for cutting off my intro. That's what I get for moving around. Hey, hey, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Pillars of Eternity. In the last episode, we talked to Merwald here in the uh, Stronghold. And uh, we are now going to go back upstairs to talk to the steward. I suppose I don't have to be sneaky sneaky. I've already walked through this area before. So we can go a little bit faster. By doing that, this is a short map. Aye, you're right. No sense listening to that old bam pot. Damned Virago, not now. Oh, that's Aloth talking to himself. Can I um? How may I help? Chat with him. Aloth looks at you with quite attentiveness. How many be of service? Um, no, none of this is helpful. Hmm? I really want to know about his freaking uh, dwarf personality. Also, it's really weird that he hasn't done this before now. Like, he's had this second personality in him for a while, since we first met him, but I haven't been getting any flavor text about it. All right. All right, let's go talk to Steward. Ooh! I felt Meowald's passing. You slew him. <laughs> Several of him. Old man was barking mad and did him a favor. No, he gave me no choice. He attacked me. It saddens me to hear it. But part of me is grateful to no longer have to wait and worry in darkness. In darkness? Why, because you couldn't see? Or because the keep is in such disarray? This place has always known its master, long as it's had one. It has a will all its own. Nice. Which has little to do with the castle and much to do with the land it's built on. Really? It looks to you as Meowald's successor now, whether you care for it or not. Oh, I care for it. A dubious honor, inheriting a fortress both broken and cursed. But in the right hands, it could be so much more. If you had only seen it in its day, will you... will you stay? All right. I mean, me, personally, I want it. Delours? I, I don't know. It's not necessarily... I, I would think, as a, as a nomad and a druid and all that, I don't think that, you know, keep ownership has been high on his list of priorities. Um... But he wouldn't be opposed to it. That being said, we're going to go with option number one to start off with. Merald said that I must go to the City of Defiance in search of the Queen. Ooh, I disappointed her. I see. If it's Defiance Bay... Yeah, so the energy seems all at once to drain from the air. I see. If it's Defiance Bay you seek, I'm sorry to tell you you've come a long way for nothing. The Eastern Barbican collapsed decades ago, and Merald never got around to rebuilding it. The road here is a dead end. He got as far as gathering materials before his mind became preoccupied. I could make arrangements to have it repaired, if it's your will. When it ceased to be the previous master's will, I became powerless to do anything about it. For what am I but the master's instrument? It would take time, but far less than finding another route to Defiance Bay. Can I go over that bridge or something? Um, what does it mean to be the master? Why? There are many responsibilities involved in maintaining a keep. The extent to which you wish to get it involved is entirely up to you, of course. Part of the reason I am here is to ensure that things run smoothly in your absence, provided we have been given instructions. If you instruct me on which repairs you wish to conduct next, I will make the necessary arrangements. These may take some time to finish, but each will provide you with additional resources once they are complete. Given somewhere to place them, we can hire tradesmen to provide you with supplies or ingredients. Repairing the keep will raise your prestige and draw both helpful individuals and unwelcome attention from bandits and opportunists. If we, raise, if we can raise the keep's security in turn, these will become less of a concern. You should know, however, that the position does come with some risk. Your name will grow in fame, and you must contend with threats to the keep. And then there are other things. Yeah, what do you mean that this keep was cursed? Merald's curse was his own, a watcher's curse. But his predecessors have not fared better. There is a presence within the keep, or rather far beneath it. Yeah, about 15 levels below, I gather. At least such has been the conclusion drawn by all those who have come to this place. For what spirits still linger in the endless paths oft speak of a master below. Nice. Every effort to settle here has failed. You know, this should just be a great D&D campaign by itself. Like, none of this, like, wander around for 10 levels gaining experience. Just like level one, it's like, all right, you, uh, I don't know, you received a letter from a long lost uncle. You've inherited a keep. It's dungeons beneath are cursed. You have to rebuild it from ruin and explore the dungeon and do that and go nuts. It's like less of a story-driven adventure and more of a players get to decide exactly how they want to organize. Frick, I'm going to be... I got to make this. This is amazing. I'm so happy that this is a computer game, too. Um, 
every effort to settle here has failed from the time of our daring colonists onward. Beasts rise from the endless paths until the new lord or lady is no more. The one who dwells below this master does not tolerate rivals, it seems. I have seen from time to time intrepid explorers descend to lay claim to whatever answers they can, but none return. This is the force which has kept Said Nua a barren ruin, or Kaid Nua, and robbed me of my hopes. The endless paths! That, my friend, is where I must go, where we must go, if you will go with me. Whatever devils lie beneath, think to what knowledge we will find. Perhaps this master speaks of Darren. Um, who is this master below? I could not say with any certainty. I believe it must be tied to the man said to have been the architect of the endless paths, the Egwithin tyrant Od Nua. Some claim his spirit endures, or at least has laid a curse upon the site. I cannot imagine what remains of his work, for the ruins have been here a thousand years or more, but what is left is impressive. The Earl certainly thought so. You may have seen while below the hand of the great statue Od Nua constructed. Perhaps it is the statue of Od Nua himself. Um... But am I not the master of Xade Nua? I'm going to go ahead and accept this title. Of course you are. The Keep would have no other. But the Endless Paths are a different thing entirely. It is unfortunate, really, that they are so closely entwined. If the Mathroom below is not dealt with, there will always be a threat to the Keep from within. I know this is much to take in, but if you would remain, if you would become, or if you would be lord of this place, then I can only advise you to seek out this foe before it destroys you. And what are the Endless Paths? Uh, this is the name given the labyrinth beneath the keep. The Earl, he, we were warned by the Glan Fathens that this site was cursed, and there is a legend attached to it, though at the time we thought nothing of it. The ruins were built, it is said, by a powerful Egwithin named Odnua, who ruled there until his people turned against him. They destroyed his Endless Paths and filled many of the upper levels with soil and stone. Nope. Excuse me. No one living knows how far down the tunnels stretch, and few have ventured there have returned. There is much talk of riches and treasures. The promise of Egwithian relics alone has drawn many fortune seekers to their death, I fear. I have other questions. All right, how do I repair the Barbican? Merwald set aside materials for the Barbican, and they are still available to you. In the future, if you wish to make further repairs to the keep, we will need coin for supplies and labor. All right, time to find this queen in the City of Defiance. You must know, this queen you're looking for, Defiance Bay has no queen. The Mequins of Ader haven't reigned there since the war. The only queen with any power there is Wodaka. I have told they've erected an exquisite, exquisite temple in her honor there, but I was never able to see it. If you mean to go there, we can get started right away in repairing the Barbican. You need only tell me what you wish to do, and I'll make the necessary arrangements. Merrill kept a ledger, as it happens, and I have taken the liberty of updating it. You could take a look if you wish. Uh, yeah, let's see what repairs I can make. Then we'll get underway at once. The steward's voice belies a giddy excitement. No, my lord, this is but the first of and least of great many undertakings. The keep supported a great many buildings and servants for many years. If you should wish it, we can repair some of the outlying structures, and these will bring you wealth and recognition, drawing people to your service. Rebuilding the defenses will keep your grounds from becoming overrun, as they did under Mayor Wald's keeping. You know, like, I, I kind of wish I'd made a different character, because I, I would like a character who might equal his excitement of running a keep as much as I have. But, you know, maybe it's time. Dolores is is not necessarily a druid because of, I don't know, any particularly strong philosophy, I would say. He certainly had an affiliation with nature. But mostly he's on the run and hasn't had a home just because some shit went down where he's from. Maybe he's happy to settle down again. And this is his place to, to lay claim to that. Hmm. Um... You do not need to choose all at once. I'm pledged your aid, and so long as you are master here, we shall always be linked. You need not step upon these grounds to speak with me. Wherever your travels may take you, you can make your will known to me if you but reach out. Awesome. Oh, but of course, the Barbican. Yeah! Oh my god, this is so great! Look at these. these it takes multiple days. Maybe uh, there's microtransaction like on a mobile game so we can speed this up. No, I don't think there is. Well, we need a main keep first. We can start with this. Gates passage to wood, wooded, wood end plains, and the crossbows between Sednua, Dire Ford, and Defiance Bay. What else do we have going on here? Status, nothing to report. Turn one, turn two, interesting. No events. The upgrades. Hirelings, we need barracks first. Party management, we can, we can swap that around. And then, I don't know what this lock is, or that. Oh, prestige, but what's this? Security, ah! All right, well. Let's uh, build this. This will give me plus one prestige, plus two security. Boom. Okay, now that that's done, we can unlock some more stuff. I got I got plenty of money right now, so it's a question of what we're going to build next. Bright Hollow Restoration. Restoring Bright Hollow will allow you to receive resting bonuses from spending the night in Bright Hollow. Oh, this would this would fix up my, my little inn. 
presumably it's an inn. I suppose it could be the, the palace, um, but I think it's an inn. So we could rest at our own inn, presumably for free. Doesn't add any security though. Or we can fix up the main keep. Upgrading the main keep will repair your great hall, allowing visitors and adventurers to be available to you and your companions. More expensive, a little bit longer. Also gives us security though, which seems like a pretty good idea. I don't know, you know, what exactly the security modifiers do for us. Warden's Lodge watches over the wild near the stronghold. Upgrading the lodge will grant a bonus survival skill upon resting at Bright Hall, as well as providing, as well as provide access to the warden, who offers high-level bounties. Ooh, side quests or something. Woodland Trails. Surround the domain of your keep. Upgrading them will grant both a constitution and athletics bonus when resting at Hall. Is it one rest will give us all these bonuses, or does it just open up more choices? I don't know. Inch adds more security, I guess, because we're patrolling around a little bit more often. And then some stuff I can't unlock yet. I think I'm going to go for the main keep. I need, I need the swagger of my throne room to be up and running. Please and thank you. Now, I do have a button here. The stronghold button. And yeah, we can, we can do this everywhere. So we've got that. Can I talk to her again? It is good to see you here. I can feel a change in the air already. There is much to do. Is there anything I can do to help? What's the state of the keep? Oh, it just opens that. All right. Cool. Well, um, we've got a couple of things to explore now, and I kind of want to explore them before the keep is fixed. So let's go upstairs. Because I want to be able to compare like before and after. Quickly and quietly. But mostly quietly. Oh, there's nothing up here. Alright, still worth checking to compare. Do do do. And there was another doorway to go through. I suspect there will be nothing there as well. We can, however, delve down deeply and greedily. We don't have a ton of uh, camping supplies, although when we run out, we can always just, you know, come back upstairs. Quickly. Of course. I wonder if we've got a, a hearthstone portal to quickly back get back up to the surface. That would be handy. I doubt it. But depending on how the uh, the tunnels are arranged, it might actually be very easy to get back up to the top. Because it would suck to have to walk all the way up from 15 levels down. They must have something. All right, a cool little library. Map shows the Direwood's old colonial borders. A settlement called New Dunrid is marked in the place of present-day Defiance Bay. All right. Spiders are taking up residence in the empty shelves. All right, so there's nothing to talk about over here. Da -da -da. Raw damage type always ignores damage reduction of target. Only a small number of attacks, such as poisons or mental powers, inflict raw damage. Good to know. All right. No scouty scouty. Um... I think we go down. I think we go down. We check to see. At least, you know, at least we'll clear the first level. There might be all kinds of goodies. We're really looking for weapon upgrades and things like that. We've got tons of money right now. We need equipment. Nice to get another level up, perhaps, as well. So this is technically what? This is technically the dungeons level. Oh, there was something observable there. And this is, I believe, level one. Level one of the endless paths. Bum, 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 bum. Which I believe do have an end. Just endless because people have never really reached the bottom before. Alright. Sneaky, sneaky. And what does the flame reveal? We got a weapon rack or something to... What do we got? A fine dagger. Let me go and just put it in uh, his inventory there. So we can check. I believe no one needs one though. Um, yeah, we're pretty much okay. Got some more spiders over there. That's okay. Let's try, try to sneak through as much as we can before we bottleneck. It's nice to, you know, get started on a sneak attack, but... Let's move everyone into the room. Oh, we need to move. Oh, we can't? Yes. There we go. Come on. There we are. Being delayed in starting my attacks here just because I'm trying to get everyone to in a position where they can actually fight. And nuke that. I don't want to yes. use too many spells, well, but also I don't want to take too much damage. I don't have much to do here. All right, yes. Dolores, you can just go into bear form. Everyone focus. One spider at a time. Everyone's attacking. They spread out a little bit, but that's all right. Spiders are pretty squishy. 
so much you know, we really delayed coming here, so I suspect that the first level or two of this dungeon might prove to be relatively easy. I gotta remember to cast some of her spells. Once she has a heal or something. Thunder at its explosion. Raises some skeletons. And debuffs damage reduction. All pretty useful. We have to remember to use some of them. Go or spider bones. Keeping an eye out. I don't see why this would be trapped. What do you have? Boots of stealth. Nice. And some sort of potion of eldritch aim. So the boots of stealth. Um. Wait, what? Did I? I clicked the button to put in. Derp derp. Plus two stealth. You know what? I don't think we're wearing any boots on this character. We're going to give him there. Ada is pretty easy to spot right now. I mean, it sort of makes sense to get everyone capped out, but as is, he's getting spotted like before we can get into any proper kind of range. Um, I think here we're just going to run up. And then drop. Free AoE right over there. And another. Good stuff. Leave it to me. <laughs> Yay! All there. right then. Hello. 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 Yes. Of course. Do do do. Quite a bit of these levels. Each one of these levels is very big. I know that's it. Not only are there a lot of levels, but they're relatively large. You're not getting brave, Dalphilothele. Get through me. Hi. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff around here. Try to keep using all these ones per encounters. Boom. Ferranthus. You guys are wandering around a lot. We got the stone beetle is now here. Um, all right, let's get most people to go there, but all my ranged people finish off this spear spider. And whoa! Did I drop? Hey! Holy crap! That was fast. Can we knock over the stone beetle? That would be really nice. Yes. Um, also. What? what? The hell? Oh no! I'm still up. <gasps> I still have some endurance. Oh my god! I thought it was down. Um, quickly, quickly. You move up a little bit, <laughs> and then use that. That was not quite enough, but it's a start, and then you'll use your focused one over here. Oh no! Now I'm down. All right. Um, let's finish off this spear spider. Bear's hey. down too, and I keep forgetting to use the mark ability, which is really powerful. Actually, mark that one. Hi. You need. We can hotkey spells. But I'm slowly dying of poison. Lava will be on seek. Nice. So if I close this, like if yes. I switch between people, I can still use the W key. All right, that'll ensure that I use it a lot more often. All right, let's have everyone turn to the stone beetle then. Hi. You go there. You try to knock it over. Mm. And you try to drop a heal on our tank here. It'd be nice if it could wake up people who had fallen. Maybe there's a spell later on that does that. Everyone come here. I need to rest relatively Lava early, I think. We've got some real hit point damage that has happened to a few of these people. Now, we can do one... Oh, yeah, I've got um, the field triage. I think I can use it outside of combat, though. But I can also maybe raise some skeletons. A little late for that. But I don't think you've got a maximum casting per day on these chanter spells. You just have to, like, actually charge up enough chance. Okay, this thing is tough as hell. Alright, let's dump some more spells. We're obviously going to rest after this combat. Oh my god, we're doing nothing to it. What kind of defense does it have? It has 30 against slashing, 15 in general. If we can hit it for more um, damage types... that. What about this one? Single target. Go away, Lance. Um, E, R. I can't hot can hotkey to this D. Is E already something else? Lava will be on Might seek. be. Okay. 
So now that I have hotkeys, I think I'll remember to use things more often because I don't have to hunt through the list quite so frequently. Um, that was an interesting effect. Some shells and things like that. Let's just store that all. We got a skeleton over here. Keeping an eye out. A random sword. Actually, a lot of skeletons here. I guess these are some adventurers that were killed the last time around. Um, yeah, we're going to camp. We've taken a lot of health damage, and field triage isn't going to help us enough. It'd be interesting to have a whole party with field triage, though. Since now I know it you know, affects actual health, not just endurance. You get a lot more bang for your buck. Now let's check the keep status. Where's the current production? Finished in two days. Oh, but I can have more than one going on at the same time? Oh, oh, that changes things. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Main keep already in progress. But where can I see, like, what's happening now? It's kind of annoying. Like, if something's in progress, maybe put it at the top of the progress bar so we can keep track of the stats or something. Hmm. I don't know. Now, since time is passing right now, I'm very tempted to just, like, start some of these jobs and, you know, walk away. Let's this pick that. Um, we'll get back to you. Yes. Spiders are hardly worth using a spell for, but you can still take some health damage with them, so... Let's do a little bit of something-something. I think the spear, the full spear spider actually can do some de decent damage. Yeah, actually, my bear's already taken a crap ton. We're gonna let it go down. I mean, I suppose I could spend a spell, or rather, instead of a spell, scooch up just far enough to use this, try to keep the bear up a little longer so that someone with actual hit points doesn't start taking damage. Also, so I forget that my uh, once per fight ability on my priest, I think I've buffed it so that it gives us bonus accuracy as well. So it is a bit more important to use it more frequently. I'll see what I can find. Right. Yeah! Just start shooting. But you guys, stay there. Let them come to me us. Hey. Okay. Actually, move the bear to the front. Maybe a little further back. All right. Well, now they've clumped up. We're gonna do one of those. What? We'll use one of these early. What is it? I'll go into bear form right away. And I'll just smack these guys around. That is a lot of wood yes. beetles. How defenses are they? Pretty defensive. They're not as resistant to crushing, though. Interesting, this guy's just, like, ignoring the fact that we have him, um... Engaged? What? Hmm. Indeed, what? Eh? Oh, I don't feel so good. Yeah, that poison, huh? Okay. Uh, I don't feel, feel so good. Uh, that's just endurance damage, though. We're not worried about that. Come on, wood beetle. Go down. All right. Not particularly handling some of these fights all that well. So what's this poison? Oh, no, that's the one of our chance. Okay. Get some more carcasses. Right, then. We'll just check this room over here. Which I believe should be empty now. No traps yet. Good sign. No secrets either. Ripple sponge. Ooh. Nice. All right, we'll just drop it into our actual inventory so we remember it. And then some lootables over here that we don't care about. All right, well, we are going to, I think in the next episode, we're going to continue to clear this floor. There's a lot left to it. Spiders aren't too bad. Those beetles are proving to be a bit tough. I'm still hoping to find an actual piece of treasure that will make us a bit stronger overall, but uh, that'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching another episode of Let's Play Pillars of Eternity, and I'll see you next time, folks.